Would you like your own unique web address on LinkedIn? In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that because when you set up your account on LinkedIn initially, you just get a random series of numbers and letters for your address. So I'll be taking you through the steps on how to create your own, which has a number of benefits that I'll be explaining in this video. I'm Jonathan Pollinger. I've been a social media trainer since 2009, helping businesses achieve their objectives using social networks like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Threads, Pinterest, and all the major social networks. I've also been a trainer for NILC and established an agency where we manage social media. If you're interested in learning more about the contents of this video or any aspects of social media, check out the links below. Let's get straight into the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a unique public profile URL. So what does that actually mean? So it means that you get a bespoke or personalized web address that directs people to your profile. So in other words, the link in the address bar at the top of your browser. So why would you want to do this? Well, a number of reasons. First of all, it's nice and neat and tidy. So if you want to put it on a business card, let's say, or on your website, then it's going to look better than an address with a whole bunch of numbers and additional characters. And it is unique to you. Secondly, LinkedIn say that it improves the chances of people finding you on LinkedIn. So it aids discovery because you haven't got those additional characters and numbers in your web address. But not only on LinkedIn, because your profile will show up on search engines like Google and Bing, so it can help people find you outside of LinkedIn as well. So this is how you create your public profile URL. So you go to the right-hand side here, and you click on the pencil symbol, and on the top right hand side here, you'll see that mine is already customized with my name there. But to change it, I would click on the pencil symbol, put in the name I desire there. As it says, it must be between three and 100 letters or numbers, and you're not allowed to use spaces, symbols, or special characters. And when you're done, you can click save. Now, if your desired name isn't unique, then you won't be able to save it. But if it allows you to save it, then bingo, you have got your nice bespoke customized URL that is personal to you. If for some reason you can't see this option here at the top, public profile and URL, then there is actually another way of changing it. So you can go to contact info, click on the pencil symbol within that section, click on your address there, and you're taken to the same area that we were before. So you might be thinking, well, why do I actually have to do this? Why don't LinkedIn do it? Well, the fact is that when you create an account on LinkedIn initially, you do get this randomized address that, yes, it is sort of personalized to you because it's unique, but it, it isn't personally branded to you. So it's not a, a, a nice, neat custom URL. So you can do away with all the random numbers and letters that LinkedIn give you when you initially set up an account. So that's how you create your bespoke custom URL or web address. Thank you for watching this video on creating your own personalized, unique LinkedIn web address, which I hope you find useful. As mentioned in the video, you can use that on business cards and you're more likely to show up in search. For more hints and tips around LinkedIn, do check out the links to our videos below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and for more information on NILC's courses, also check out the links. See you next time. <laughs>